What's up everybody, Pumpkin here. So today I have a Queen Calanthe deck. Uh, this is not the type of thing that you would really expect. Uh, typically, if you're looking for a deck guide <clears throat> in this current meta, you're probably looking for something like Full Test because Full Test is, you know, a little overtuned at the moment. Um, but Anivia, for those of you who don't know, is a Northern Realms player who used to play a lot of Gwent back in the day and he'd come up with these really really strong Northern Realms lists Typically they were like off meta not really what you would expect from a, a Northern Realms list and while well, he's done it again So uh, you can thank Anivia. Uh, I'll have uh, his deck links link in the uh, comments below and uh, Yeah, let's get right into it. So Calanthe allows you to play two cards in one turn so the main combo with this deck is playing uh, Reynard and Prophet Laboida in the same turn. The idea is once you get them both on this board in the same turn, uh, it's pretty hard to remove. So if we've learned anything from the past with Hensolt, uh, putting two engines on the board is really strong, while putting two big engines on the board is even stronger because they're much harder to remove. Uh, typically, the way you would remove engines is while well, killing them, locking them, which we don't really see many locks in the meta, or you simply muzzle them. Well, both of these are sixes, and you can't muzzle either of them. So, yeah, they stick. Um, so, typically, you always play Prophet Laboida first, and then you play the Reynard after, because giving the shield is worth more than uh, boosting the Rain or boosting the Laboida by plus one. Uh, I'll go through the list. Renew. This might seem like a strange card. Uh, why is Renew in this deck? Well, it turns out the new Northern Realms gold cards are broken. Um, Renew just has a ton of great targets basically every card under renew is high value valley boy is a good renew target bb is a good target cure is a good target uh prince can be a good target uh the scenarios where it's a good target is when you have both of these on the board and you play prince in between uh, it gets the boost and it gets the shield uh shielded duel is insane because you can hit a 10 the 10 hits back for nothing and then you kill the 10 so uh, this card is up to 15 plus value, which is insane, and it has a removal potential. So this card is really, really good if you have these two uh, on the board, or it's just deal four damage, which is quite good. Uh, typically, you don't renew these, but you can. Uh, sometimes I'll play both of them in the same turn, and then one will die, and then I'll just renew it and slap it right back on the board. Uh, if let's say I still have these bigger golds in my hand, and I haven't, I don't really have a renew target, so. Uh, renew is kind of a flex card. You play it on whatever you need. Whatever you need in that scenario. Sometimes it's BB. Uh, you'll have a high target to reset in round one or two, and you need another one in round three. Um, sometimes you just want a ton of points, and Cure is the best renew target. So, yeah, renew is pretty flexible. Uh, depending on the scenario, is going to determine whether or not uh, you're going to choose from amongst these. Uh, Anna actually is another card that I do from time to time. Anna. If you play in between Laboida and Reynard, gets boosted and gets shield. Uh, and it immediately starts boosting your two engines, which is really powerful. And really, you can't really kill it. Uh, the only card that really deals with Ana is Muzzle. Uh, outside of Muzzle, I, I guess Philippa and Syndicate. Uh, otherwise, I, I guess Ardle too. Uh, you, you're not really going to deal with a five strength uh, unit with uh, Divine Shield on it. Not Divine Shield. Whatever. It's not hard to Anyways, uh, yeah. So, Renew, great card. Very flexible. Fallibor, it's just a phenomenal card. Um, worst case scenario, it's a 10 for 11. Best case scenario, it's, what, like a 13 for 11, which is nuts. This card's just really good. Bloody Baron, auto-include in every Northern Realm stack. Absolutely insane. Kira, auto-include in every Northern Realm stack. Absolutely insane. Prince, it's good removal. This deck doesn't have too much removal, so removing an engine early on can be very useful. Uh, and as I mentioned earlier, playing this in between Reynard and Laboida is insane. Reynard, great card. Um, this card has a ton of synergy with their deck. A lot of the cards in the deck get extra value when boosted. I mean, we can go through the list. Bloody Baron, one. Uh, you play this on the melee row. You get It's boosted, so you get to bleed them. Uh, Prince gets the duel. Um... Nathaniel gets an immediate uh, bleed proc. Anna gets to start going on adjacent. This keeps it alive. Trebuchet starts to uh, hit anywhere on the board. Uh, Tritum obviously gets the immediate boost. So as you can see, getting free boost is nice. Not to mention uh, boosting your engine makes it harder to kill. So yeah. Uh, Prophet Laboida. Um, we do actually have King Rogner in this list. King Rogner is actually quite strong. Um, this isn't a King Rogner deck, right? So King Rogner is just 
extra. It's there for more points, right? It's not all ending on King Ragnar. Um, Profit is really there to protect your engines, and you just have this beneficial, at the end, giant play with King Ragnar, and you slam a 20-point Ragnar on the board, and it's great. So, really strong card, works well with King Ragnar, uh, works well with uh, Reynard, and just a lot of engines in your deck. Vandegrift, very strong Northern Realms card right now. Carryover is obviously good. Um, I have to mention with this deck, I typically go for 2-0s. So I'll win round one pretty consistently, and then round two, I will open up with uh, Leader with Queen Calanthe, and I'll play, uh, what is it, Laboida into Reynard. Um, I almost always go for 2-0s. I'll typically end the round with like a Vandegrift. Uh, sometimes a Reynard, uh, depending on what gold I draw for that round. But uh, yeah, Reynard is just really, really good. Um, sometimes I play it in round one. Uh, sorry, Vandegrift is what I meant. Uh, sometimes I play Vandegrift in round one. If I'm going to be losing on even, playing carryover is pretty good because it means your opponent can't try pass. If they do try pass, uh, you don't lose your card advantage. And if they push you, well, you have five extra points to work with. So hopefully you don't get too old. So just a really, really strong card. King Ragnar. Lots of uh, power with Profit and the Cavs down here. Really strong card. Um, don't get too crazy with this card. You don't need massive tons of value with this. If you flip one shield, it's a seven for eight, which is okay. It's worth a little bit more with the Cavs. The Cavs go to six value. So like, it's, it's really not that hard for this card to break even. Uh, if you have a Vandegrift from Carryover, you're going to be getting another three. So typically, this card is minimum 10 value, which is just good. Yeah. Uh, Nathaniel. It's a great card. Uh, works well with Drummers. Works well with uh, Anna. Works well with um, Reynard. You don't have to play this card, but it's just a good enough card. Um, it's an extra card to throw an extra Drummer, and it just feels good. Yeah, every now and then it multi-bleeds on a unit, and that kind of sucks, but what are you going to do? Uh, Anna, great engine. Really strong if it gets boosted, which is not very hard because you have Drummers and uh, Reynard. Good card. I typically play it in round one. This is not the type of card that you need to like hold on for round two or three. Um, uh, a combo that I like to play, you'll, you'll notice this in some of the games, uh, I'll open up with something like a battering ram, a cav, or like a trebuchet. Then I'll play a drummer to the left of it, and then I'll play an Anna in between and immediately start getting three points, plus if I have like the trebuchet a turn, uh, which is really good. So don't, don't be afraid to play Anna in round one. Drummer is really good at round one engine. I also typically play this always in round one uh, just to get it going really early on. Uh, very strong engine if less uncontested. Uh, if you throw this next to Profit, it is basically unkillable and you get tons of points. Um, if your board is left uncontested, which actually does happen from time to time, uh, you can start getting something like 8 to 10 points a turn. That's a lot. Yeah, you basically just win. Uh, I've had games where I win by like 50 points. Uh, this deck is just insanely strong uh trebuchet good engine works well with the other boosts battering ram i like this card it's a one of uh you throw it on the back row it's a really nice proactive play uh the way i see it is if they remove it you don't really care because it means your bigger more valuable engines will uh stick and if it doesn't get removed well it's a se uh, it's a seven for five and that's good yeah uh good card calves nice proactive play works really well with king rogner it's a six for four with king rogner plus obviously the extra three for king rogner so very strong card uh this is a card i typically mulligan though in round one um you don't have to it's really up to you tritum infantry works really really well with uh the drummers and anna uh enchantress just a strong overall card uh obviously does have synergy with cards like trebuchet tritum and nathaniel kidwani sergeant it's just a fair card uh, more boost. It's good with the deck. Uh, the, uh, the cards that I just mentioned that worked well with Enchantress also work well with Sergeant and Artificer. Probably the worst card in the deck, even though it is a 4 for 4 and gives shield. Granted, if you do have that shield with King Rogner, it becomes a 7 for 4. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, it protects your engines. This is a card I typically mulligan away in round 1, just because there is a lot of nilf guard on the ladder, so playing this and giving a unit shield doesn't really do anything when they have tourney joust, so yeah. Um, but it, it's quite good with King Ragnar and against decks that, let's say, SK, where they have really explosive damage, uh, but, but they might not be able to ping that shield off. The Artificer is going to be more useful. Um, yeah, so basic game plan, win round one, and round two, you 2-0. Yeah, basically, you just 2-0 every deck. Um, the exception would be a deck that doesn't really have a good long round three. So maybe like a monster deck, you don't go for a 2-0 because you don't necessarily need to, and the longer rounds typically favor you because you're playing engines and they don't. 
Um, so if you're playing against a deck that doesn't play any kind of engines, you don't have to 2-0. But if you're playing any kind of combo deck, which is a good chunk of the meta right now, any kind of Dijkstra deck, um, well, okay. So there's two different types of Dijkstra decks. The Dijkstra decks with Townsfolk and like Igor and Summoning Circle, this deck does really well against. It just 2-0s them very consistently. Um, against the Bounty variants, it's a little harder. Um, I typically still push in round two. Because if you go into round three and they play a bunch of bounty, they're going to wipe your entire board. So that's typically not ideal. So I, I still usually go for two O's. Uh, SK, I go for two O's. Monsters, I don't go for two O's. Unless it's AQ. If it's AQ, you go for two O. If it's no unit monster, you go for two O. Um, what else is there? Nilfgaard. Nilfgaard. Nilfgaard's rough. It depends on the Nilfgaard. Uh, Usurper's okay. Ardol. I haven't lost to Ardol yet, so I, I should say I played maybe, like, I, I think I had, like, an 87% win rate with this deck over, like, 25 games or 20 games. I lost, like, two games. Um, yeah, it's just a really good deck. It's really strong in the meta. I would say its hardest matchup is Full Test, uh, just because Full Test is insane. Uh, the consistency is kind of ridiculous uh, on the Blue Stripe Scout and Commando package. So if they do draw everything in round one, it's kind of hard to keep up. They start playing, like, uh, eight point blue stripe scouts and like it's just so many points you can't really keep up with it so uh, a lot of the times i end up having to pass and yeah i mean if they bleed me then i have a chance if they dry pass and get a long round with like draw it's pretty hard because this deck doesn't have too much removal so full test is definitely going to be the hardest matchup for this deck uh, but everything else is beatable uh pretty consistently so yeah um i'm not going to go too much more in depth for gameplay uh, that's what the, uh, the actual gameplay is going to be for. I think I'm going to have two videos. So, uh, my last video was a little longer, about an hour long. Uh, apparently people don't really like an hour long video. So what I think I'm going to do is, uh, this video will have the explanation, uh, and then maybe like two or three games. And then I'll do a part two with just more gameplay. Uh, the idea is, well, if you want more gameplay, here it is. It's for you. Uh, if you don't want more gameplay, you don't have to watch it. Yeah, so uh, we'll have a couple games because I, I played this deck for like five or six hours straight the other day, and I it's just a really, really fun deck. It's it it's a different take on Northern Realms. Um, typically, Northern Realms just... Yeah, I don't know. It, it feels very polarizing. Either you win or you lose by a lot. Whereas this deck, when I lose, it's I, I lose by a very small margin. Um, yeah, all right. I'll, 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 I'll be quiet. Um... We'll get into the gameplay. I hope you guys enjoy the deck. Uh, remember, this is a Nivea's list, so uh, if you see him around on Twitch chat or something, uh, you can thank him for it, because it is a very, very fun deck. Hope you guys enjoy the games, and I'll see you guys on the next video. You don't actually need King Rogner for this list. If you notice that game, I was up 50 points, and we hadn't played Rogner, and Rogner was going to get, like, a billion value. I, I rounded up a little bit. Um... You don't actually need Rogner. The idea is the engine. Like, if Loboida sticks plus engines, you just win. Because you start getting, like, eight points a turn. And eight points a turn is... Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. And Northern Realms Gold cards are completely busted, so, you know. Yeah. Wow, that's, uh, interesting. Can my, uh, internet janitors, uh, you know, do their job, please, that I don't pay them for? Thanks, you're the best. What would we do without you? Come forth, coward, and your own doom confront. Who wants to be an internet janitor? Raise your hand. I need some more. My latest Do you want to be an internet janitor? Okay, you can be an internet janitor. Congratulations, you have been promoted from being able to do nothing to actually having to do something. Congratulations.
Pay me in Hot Pockets? I don't have any, I'm sorry. I ran out. Awaiting your orders. Never me? Wait, you're literally the person I modded. Okay, I mean, I can unmod you. We could fix it. Maybe it was a bug or something. <laughs> I get yeah, I, we could probably like fix it. We can, we can, it's probably not that hard. Will you make a video guide for this deck? Play cards, win the game. Consider the video guide finished. Mod me or rage. Alright, have fun raging. Get your baby the rages out and continue the rage. Why is the room so dark? Uh, I forgot to pay the electricity bill. My hamster is powering my computer at the moment. Can you kill it again? So, uh, yeah. He's getting very tired, <laughs> but it's okay. I feed him poo poo bars, and apparently that's enough for him. Is this deck on the site? Yeah, I mean it's Anivia's, so you can. I don't know. I can link Anivia's thingy. One sec. Here you are. The hamster gets paid more than your mods. Do the mods want poo poo bars? I mean, we can arrange that. I mean, yeah, any any mods want some poo poo bars? Could have got carryover on Vandegrift with Kira. I know, but it's slow. I'm gonna play it at the end, because if I play it early, it opens up the chance for my opponent to play removal, and I don't want to do that. There's no reason to be greedy. The other thing is, the other half of Kira, I don't get value, or I get less value. Which means it's not worth it. Oh, speaking of worth it, let's play our broken gold card. Here we go. Doot, doot, doot. 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 Yeah, balanced gold card, by the way. Please don't have Gigni. Dude, the gold cards in Northern Realms are so balanced. Said literally no one ever. It's cute. You should be scared. I'm gonna smash you. May your blade never dull. May your hand never waver. Where's Pogner? He's still in the deck. He'll be my finisher in round three with Vandegar. What's cute is with Reynard, you can play BB and get the uh, the bleed ticks, which is kind of funny. Where's 
140 out of 500 Astro Pumpkin. Uh, ish Danky S or cool when do mir mod on the ok on mod mod during namen mit. I don't know. I give up. I can't do it. <laughs> I tried. What is this deck? It's a uh, King Pogner deck. With a splash of broken cards. Otherwise known as Northern Realms Gold Cards. Nice German, thanks. Alright, so how many of those words that I just spoke... Did I say at least one correctly? <laughs> uh, zero? Okay, good. Nailed it. It's cute. What has that witch done? Name was correct. Oh, I said my name correctly. That's good. All right, so we didn't even play any engines. We just played Point Slam. XD. All right, last card. Nice. All right, so we have five carryover. We're going to top deck two Cavs and King Pogner for the win. Thank you. There's King Pogner. Good. One 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 one
small. Again. Are you asking about something indirectly? I'm asking how big your hands are. That's it. Nothing more. Nothing yeah. less. Smool. <laughs> Jeez. Dreamer has a secret fetish? Yeah, I have a hand fetish. How do you know? Yeah, that sounds about right. Who said anything about killing? I thought burns. Third degree, but still. That's a rare fetish? It is indeed. That's why I have to ask you guys. I, I need more people. But you like webbed feet now? Hands? Yeah, webbed hands are the best. Makes you go faster. Get to go super fast in the pool. Play a Warframe deck? I haven't played Warframe in so long. Did you hear about the beef between Frez Freddy and Chezzy? No. That's kind of unfortunate. There is no beef, probably. I don't know. There's no reason to start drama. My hands are medium, but I have long fingers. Yeah? What do you use those long fingers for? Hmm? Oh, picking your nose. Oh, okay. Drama in 2019. Are you all still in high school? Any 12 year olds? You want to do me a favor and play a two? Oh, you're 11. I'm sorry. I mean, I'll just slam it. I don't really care. It's a 10, but it's more than that. It's a 12 because it's a nice two ticks on damage. What did I come to? What do you mean? We're just having a normal conversation. Don't be silly. No cap. Uh, no cap. No cap. One, two, three. We ran out of those. Speaking of, what's the average age of your audience? 20s? Probably like 20 to 26 is the average. Something like that. Mm, okay. I'd say probably mid 20s. I mean, you guys can tell me if I'm wrong. I mean, there's obviously going to be exceptions. Right, there's going to be someone who's 12 years old, and there's going to be somebody who's 69 years old. Because it's Twitch chat. Hellcats oh, nice. Try them! Kind of want to get... I think we'll play Vandy. Well, he still hasn't played Muzzle. Aye, aye, aye. 
If he like double moves lulls me, it's gonna suck. So I guess we have to play this. Whatever. Cause if he muzzles this, I lose. He doesn't have muzzle. Oh, that's true. He doesn't have muzzle, which means just Stefan's bricked. Which means just Kira was a misplay. I could have just played the Vandegrift. Rips. Well, it's a little safer. No, I don't mind doing this because I BB will probably get more value around three. Nothing Kappa. Oh, see? Do you see? I see. See, he could have double muzzled. Mm-hmm. What is this? Four? Five, six, seven, eight? Five? Okay. Halt! Don't retreat! Damn it! This is too explosive, so if I play this and he passes, I don't get the Vandegrift. There's this way I get the guaranteed carryover. Placing a shield next to Laboida should make it immune. Yeah, that makes sense. What's the song? Here you are. All right, where's my king, the Rogna? Hello? Uh, hitting Renew would have been nice too. Muzzle. What's the song? I just linked it, mate. Oh no. Song name, please. Resistance to fire, <laughs> mere child's play. Gather my men. Should be game. I highly doubt he has a twenty. I guess he only needs a nineteen. <laughs> only. Dude, we just beat Ardal with Northern Realms. Okay. Are you gonna stream tomorrow? What's tomorrow? Yeah. I don't see why not. Why are we in the dark? Because the hamster lost a leg, so he's running a little slow today. I pay hands for the hamster. No gym? What do you mean? Praise be to the great sun! What's above the door? It's a... Uh... What? Can you really see that? It's a cyberpunk photo. I can't imagine you can see that. Did you lose weight? No, I've gained weight since going to the gym. Uh-oh, something's getting Millerinoed. I can't tell if you're being sarcastic. No, I'm I'm being serious. <laughs> Let us speak. Oh, that's fine. Left, right, left, right. Huh. Yeah. 
How many disc plates do you have? Seventeen, I think. How big was the credit you had to go through? They just send them to me, so I don't know. I guess we can go a little deeper. May your blade never dull. May your hand never waver. I think 144 hertz helps a lot when it comes to games where FPS matters. Yeah, that's what I would assume. Which is why I can't wait to get my new 144 hertz monitor for uh, Gwent. Gonna improve my gameplay by 10x. Two forty hertz. Wait, they have two forty hertz monitors. What do you use those for? What would you need a two forty hertz monitor for? Huh? CSGO? Really? Do they even use two forty hertz at the pro level, like in tournaments? Do they do they give everybody a two forty hertz monitor? I guess they do. There's no reason not to. And what? Because whatever company has them will sponsor them for free, right? It gives you a big advantage. Okay. The difference between 60 and 144 versus the difference between 144 and 240. Which is the bigger difference? For FPS, obviously. First person shooters. First one. Why not carry over? Oh, I was too busy talking about screens. Yeah, I probably should have played the carryover. <laughs> Whoops. What has that witch done? Five for eight. It's an eight for eight with King Pogner. You can tell, you can feel it immediately when you go down to 144 from 240. I don't know. How much is a, a 240 hertz monitor? Like decent size, not like, like a 20, I don't know, like a 27 inch. A hundred K. There's no way. 27 is too big? No. Best 240 hertz monitors. What the f Why does this thing have panels? Are there speakers? Jeez. Giant flappy panels on this side. It's only five hundred fifty dollars. Huh. Not too bad. That's actually really expensive for a monitor. All right, we'll bait this. See if it dies. Only? Yeah, no, it's a lot. I typically... How many monitors have I bought? Most of the monitors I've bought have been between like 120 and like $160. My most recent monitor I spent a little more because I wanted an ultra wide. I think I spent like 180. Who 
What is it you want? To do business with you is ever a Yeah, I would never do 240. I don't think I need to go from 60 hertz to 240 hertz. Especially when I play card games. Not everyone is as rich as you. Well, I just... Yeah. I wouldn't say I'm rich, but... When it comes to my setup, I don't mind spending a little more. Considering I use it, like, 12 hours a day. If you play King next to Laboida, will you consume own shield? I'm pretty sure the answer is no. I'm pretty sure I tried it. I don't think it works. All streamers are rich? Yeah, I wish that were true. Wait, this is a four now, isn't it? Yeah, I probably should have put this here. It's one extra point. You've been to my house? Oh. By my honor, you will hang. Okay. All right. We'll play Laboida. I can't wait much longer. Those who seek wisdom in dreams perish. I don't even know what we're renewing. Actually, we can renew Kira, can't we? Because she got sacked. I know he has Ox. He could have Sarah too. With Doedric. Renew Cantarella and I'm good. Would you even lock this? I don't even think you have to. Start ripping on Kira. I mean, I don't have any other engines, so like, from my perspective, it's correct to lock. But from his perspective, it's not necessary. Especially if he has like, Leo, he can just Leo King Pogner. Fifteen point renew. Yeah, cure is insane. So typically renew is not worth it anymore, but the Northern Realms gold cards are busted enough that it doesn't matter. Like renewing Fallibor is fine, renewing Kira is fine, renewing Pogner is okay, depending on the round. Renewing Laboida is not the worst. Uh renewing Princess is pretty decent if you have uh Reynard on the board. Okay. If I just do this, take the reset, plus four, seems good. It's probably the best I'll ever get. Bro, this isn't a seven? Oh, it used to be a seven. They nerfed this card. In PTR, this card was a seven. Why can't we have cards like that in Square Tall? I mean, we have Oak. Oak's really good. I, I wouldn't complain about Square Tall just yet. Square Tall's pretty good right now. Alright, I mean, the way he wins this is Shoop Charm on the 10. For 22, it's probably the only way. I don't think he can win otherwise. Like, yeah, he can Leo this. No, 
Oh, uh, no, even if he high rolls it, it doesn't matter. Pretty good. Alright, so let's test this. There's two shields on the board. Should go to 10. Maybe he'll absorb himself. I don't think he does, because the play goes off first. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so Leo's worth, what, 13? Alright. I don't know. We didn't even... How many engines did we play that round? We played Laboida. That's it. Oh, it's a different trap. Tommy99 with the five months. Thank you so much, mate. Welcome back. Do you guys want me to turn the lights on? Is it too dark in here? Why did he not lock it? My guess is he thought there would be another lock target later on. Dark is good. Isn't it hard to see? Oh, these are pretty good against, uh, whatever it's called. Bounty. Powerful deck. I don't think we've lost a single game yet. I think we have a 100% win rate. I think we might have lost maybe one game. This is the real test. How does this deck do against DJ? You hate the dark? I'm scared? It's okay. I'll hold you close. Whisper in your ear that's gonna be okay. Again. Need to get these engines going as quick as possible. Dude has a hundred wins with every Crimson Curse leader. Oh. Is that what that border is? Ay ay ay! So many people are running this card now. I guess with Kira in the meta, it's pretty good. Oh, he's just going all in. Okie dokie. I don't know if we can keep up with this. We're down a few points. Uh, reset is worth, what, 9, 7, 16? This is worth, what, one, two, three a turn? Six? What did I say, 13 on this? No, that's wrong. 16 on this. 22. So we're at 36. When we get another tick of this for three, 39. Okay. I mean, with this, I think we can keep up. I just needed to not hit the 12. Good. I'm assuming I did my math correctly, otherwise we lose, so... I'm not gonna double check the math, there's no point. Because if it's not enough, I already lose. Yeah, we're fine. Math is hard? Yeah, dude, math is hard, mate. So many numbers and shit. Beekstra is currently the fourth most played leader in Play Gwen, yet he's seen as the number one most played. I don't think he's seen as the most the number one most played. I don't think people are arguing that he's seeing too much play. I don't think that's like the issue. It's just he's OP. Okie dokie, 2 0. Alright, we're gonna take King Pogner. Not all secrets, sir. 
Yeah, I do this opener basically every game in round two. Have you seen? No, I haven't. What do you say? This guy's gonna get smashed. I mean, I don't mind smashing him. It's fine with me. I am not one to complain. You are nitpicking and biased? About what? Okay. Uh Yeah, okay. Free shield for me, I guess. I'm itching for that battle. Big Pogner. Oh, baby. Big lad. Dude, I'm just gonna smash him. I don't care. I'm gonna keep going. I ain't stopping. Insane gold card. What do you think, dearest? It matches your record. It's cute. All in, boys. Go big or go home. The job's a job. 